This video is going to show you how to change colors in Fusion. And the first thing that you would do to, to change colors is you would go to change at the top. And if you wanted to change the, the colors of all these units, you would click change default style and that would change all the units. But if you wanted to change just one unit, you would click on the unit that you wanted and go change selection style and that would just change the color of the unit that you've, you've selected. But for now, I want to, to change all of it. The, the screen looks the same for change selection style and change default style. So as I click on change default style, it will ask me which catalog I'm wanting to, to change color with. And I did my design in Fusion QM, in the Fusion QM catalog. So I'm going to highlight Fusion QM, click on OK, and it will come up with the style details in Fusion, and you'll notice that it's got the, the previews of what the, what the cover is going to look like in the door style and the color. First of all, you'll notice that it's got design themes and it's got custom all at the moment. Now you can choose between whites, you can choose plain colors, which is basically just normal colors. You can choose between wood grains, which I found one of the nicest. You got PG Bison colors, Son Sonai colors, um, and and various other colors that you can choose from. But for now, I'm going to choose wood colors. I'm actually want to change this this whole design into a, a bit of a a light oak um, color. And you'll notice here, I've changed it to to wood grains on the left hand side, and the carcass has changed it to oak light. Now this carcass is the outside carcass of your, your units, so you're exposed to the end. So that one always needs to, or should be, a, a colored, colored wood. Now carcass interior would be either white, and I can keep it as white. Glass carcass interior, I'm wanting that light oak light. Corners primary, I'm wanting that oak light. So you would just go down and choose what you wanted. Light helmet primary, oak light, plinth lights and you'll notice that your preview is changing as well. You've got your, your cornices, your capping and your light rail have been changed and you, you see your your carcass has, has changed colour but not your door, your doors at the moment. So I'm just going to carry on down. You'll notice here it says door supplier. You can choose between the ones that you want and for now I'm going to keep it on custom and then I'm going to go down to door style as arch 50 and here I'm going to choose go down until I, I find the one that I want shaker let's say B50 B70 B50 is fine you'll, you can choose any door and you'll notice the preview that comes up here if you change it from undefined to future vision you get a, a good picture of what of what you're going to get you can go back down and choose if you don't like the B50 you can go change it to C50 and that's let's say I, I'm wanting that one and I, I'll go on that so that's my door style I can change it to shaker C50 and then I go down to my door style materials and this is the same as your design themes and here I'm going to change it to wood custom and you'll notice underneath that where it says finish stain color primary, you can change it to to what you want there. To any color. I've, I've got mine as my preview under oak light, and I'm happy with that. You can carry on, continue to go down and choose your handles. And let's say you wanted a 200 bar handle. Let's go, I want to make vertical if it's normal. There we go. Now we can go down worktops. I'm wanting to change that to a South African granite. And I just underneath the worktops, after I've changed it to South African granite, underneath worktops, click on that and I'm going to click on Rustenburg to get to get that. Okay, once you once you're happy with your your design and you're happy with your picture and you've got what it looks like to what you really want it to be be like, you would click on OK. And then you would see that it would start updating your objects and 
before, so you could start rendering and giving you your, your colors. And there we have it. You can see the, the design has changed. You've got different door, different doors now. You've got different colors and worktop colors, and you can you can go through that now. That's how, it's how to change the colors. This is a basic uh, video on how to change colors in the Fusion QM catalog and how to change colors. So let's say if you're wanting to change this unit here to something, you click on it, go change selection style, and you can, if you wanted to, change that so that it would be, let's say, dark oak and click OK and just that one unit would change so once you've changed it on selection style you can't change it again it's rendering and we can see the finished product now and there we go we've got it changed let me just highlight and highlight that and there's just that one unit that is, has changed and um, so I'm happy with that and that's how how to change it so thank you very much for listening to this video